right, so it says a large sample confidence interval for the true average difference between quantitative GRE scores for engineering majors and physical science majors was created. The result was as follows, minus 45.09 to 95.09. Is there a significant difference, and which group had the larger sample mean? Okay, so first let's look at the interval. The way they did the subtraction was the mean for engineers minus the mean for physical science majors. When you look at the interval itself, it's negative on the left and positive on the right, which means that zero is included in the interval. So when you have that, you have to say, is there a significant difference? The answer is going to be no, because what happens here is that we're saying that this true mean difference, right, is somewhere between these two numbers, and it's quite possible that zero is one of those values since zero is in the interval. And if zero is one of the values, we're saying that the mean for engineers minus the mean for physical science majors could be zero. And if it's in fact zero, it means they would have the same mean. So here this interval shows that we can't show there's a significant difference. However, we can still answer this question just by looking at the interval. Which group had the larger sample mean? So let's look at this interval a little closer now. So we have the interval there, the minus 45.09 and the 95.09. And what we want to do is figure the fact that they did the subtraction mean for engineers minus the mean for physical science majors. Now, if this guy was the bigger number, when you subtracted these GRE scores, which are positive numbers, if this number was much bigger than that number, you would end up with a negative answer, right? So if you just did the straight subtraction, you end up with a negative answer. So basically the idea is that a negative interval indicates, right? A negative interval indicates that the mean for physical science majors is greater than the mean for engineers. The opposite is true if the interval is more positive. So if the interval was positive, it means that this guy, the mean for engineers, was bigger than the mean for physical science majors. So that means that essentially when the interval turns out to be more positive than negative, it indicates that the mean for engineers was actually greater than the mean for physical science majors. Because once again, if this was a bigger number than this one, so if this was 10 and this was 3, let's say, when you subtracted them, you get a positive number like 7, right? Whereas that was switched, if this was 10 and this was 3, it'd be 3 minus 10, you'd get negative 7, right? So the negative would indicate that this mean was bigger than that one. The positive would indicate that this mean was bigger than that one. Now we don't have a completely positive or completely negative interval. If we did, then we could say clearly that one of these is bigger than the other. But because we cross is over and includes zero, we can't say that one is significantly bigger than the other, but we can say that the sample means, which is going to be indicated by, um, or this, one of the sample means is bigger than the other one, and that'll be indicated by an interval that's not perfectly symmetric around zero, right? If this said negative 45 and this said positive 45, we'd say there's the same distance below zero as there is above zero, but if you look at this, you can see what? 95 on the positive end is a much bigger number than 45 on the negative end. So in other words, we have like so say 45 negative values and we have 95 positive values, it means that the interval is actually more positive than it is negative. And so then we're saying essentially it indicates that the sample mean in this case, because of course we can't say that this is significantly bigger because it includes zero, but we can at least say that it looks like the X bar for engineering was greater than the X bar for physical science majors. Oops. I said X bar and wrote mean, but of course I meant X bar for physical science majors. So we can't say this, right? We can't say that truly the population mean looks bigger than the population mean for physical science majors, but we can say at least the sample mean for engineering must, be, must have been bigger than the sample mean for physical science majors since we have actually more positive numbers in our interval than we do negative numbers.